This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. It's a great source to buy all your codes to play the Pokemon trading card game online. As you can see, they have a large variety of codes at reasonable prices, and they provide instant email delivery on purchase. If you make a purchase, if you use the code CABIGON5, you'll receive 5% off your order. Check them out and let them know I sent you. What is up, everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. I've got some mystery packs for you today. These ones are a little bit more pricey, back to more in the normal range. These ones are 550 yen each. I don't know why it's so specific, but uh, that was the price. And these ones uh, were actually from just, they're in a big box on the counter. Uh, I was actually in Kyoto and I bought them from a card shop in Kyoto. So a little bit different to usual, but um, I got them. There's potential to get some really good stuff it said there was a thousand altogether there's some very good stuff in there worth you know quite a bit like a hundred ish dollar cards but i don't know what the low the low end is which is what we're going to see in most of the packs so i'm kind of curious to see uh what's kind of like a not so good pack so anyway we have 10 of them i want to see if we can get anything good today let's see how we go i don't know how we're going to do this i'm not sure how many cards these are these weird Sleeves that are co colored on both sides. It's kind of weird. All right, so I guess the middle card is going to be the good one. All right. Got a Ranger. I guess it'll be the middle one. All right. Oh, we got a Vaporeon. That's pretty good. And. Oh, okay. All right. So I guess that's the lower end. We got a couple of character rares. Eh, it's not too bad. Weird Ear and uh, Vaporeon could be worse I would prefer to have these than some generic V or something so that's pretty good not a bad start all right let's try it they had white ones and black ones I was like I don't know there was a lot more white than black so I was like is black just gonna be something good in there but that that would be too obvious right I don't know I decided to just get a mix of both um, Way do we uh, I can see if be anyway. More pickle be it's from the, the Marnie deck. We got a uh, shiny oh, what's her name? I forget her name. And oh that's actually pretty good. Alright, so the uh, the wheezing is pretty decent. It does have a dent in it though, which kinda of stinks. But um that's worth like a dollar. More Peko. I mean, you can only get this out of the, the Marnie deck. I'm pretty sure it's not in any other decks as like a non-holo. I think it's only in the Marnie deck. So we do have a few of them already from when we pulled that Marnie, but uh, that's an interesting one. All right, so number two. I really don't know which way we're supposed to open this. Guess we go this way. All right, we got Zero Aura V. Orbital Hollow. It's a bit nothing. And then. Ah, mm, it's not bad. We got a couple of V's. That's a good one. Luminion is actually a pretty good card. So. Still shocked that that never really kind of was worth anything. It's only like a dollar or something. It's, it's essentially Tapu Lele, but um, apparently that's not as desirable these days as it once was. So. All right, number four. We haven't really seen anything. Oh, I could see some texturing in this one. All right, it's potentially good. All right, we got Lapras. We got a Pikachu. It's a nice Pikachu hollow. And, oh, all right. That is a nice one. Arceus Full Art. I don't have this. It looks pretty sick. I do like the pink background. It kind of works well with the, the color scheme. So I have uh, the the rainbow V star. I have the alt art V. I don't have the gold one yet though. The gold V star. All right, so that's pretty good. Probably you know twenty ish bucks. So that's a nice one. We kind of seen something at least, which is good. So worst case scenario, we have that in the bank. That's that is a nice one. All right, next. I don't know where the best card is supposed to be. Is it in the middle? Where was that? All right, we got a Sneasler V. We got a 
evolution incense, which is actually pretty good. And we got double turbo energy. All right, so a couple of trainers worth like a dollar and a V. Yeah, it's it's not bad, not bad, not amazing, but not terrible. At least you know, I always feel like if you get half your money back, that's you know, that's reasonable. <laughs> Even though it's like not really a very sensible investment, but still. At least you feel like, okay, I'm getting something, you know, half decent back. Alright, so we're getting hollows. Still don't know which is the ah. I have so many. <laughs> I have so many attempts at VMAXs. And we got a Mel Metal. Just the regular one, not the promo one from the Pokemon Go set. We're getting a lot of dark types. Is that my crazy? Maybe not only three, but. This still is a sick looking card, and it was very good for a time there, but it's definitely uh, gone out of style, that's for sure. Alright, so we got four left. Still hoping for something good, but we're kind of running out of time. But we'll, we'll take our Arceus, it's pretty good. Ooh, that's nice. Bibberil, worth a couple of bucks. We'll take him. Dark types. Yeah, okay. Lipard and. All right, I mean, the Moltres is a good card. We will take that. So yeah, I mean, I feel like if you were buying these cards from a card shop, maybe not quite five bucks worth, but uh, almost like the the Bibaro is like maybe 300 yen to buy. So, you know, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, we're up to number seven. Oh, we got a boss, that's good. That there. Got another double turbo energy, that's good. And Umbreon, another dark type. What's going on? But Umbreon VMAX, pretty nice. And uh was very expensive when Eevee Heroes came out, like 10-ish bucks. Not anymore. And Eevee Heroes will be reprinted, so worth <laughs> even less than before. Alright. But it is a cool looking one. Definitely the uh, the nicest looking one. Alright, we got a Sylveon. We got a Mel Metal Hollow. Can we get something good in this one, please? Okay. Mew V Star. That's a that is a good card. That is definitely a nice one. We will take that. I consider that to be pretty uh pretty nice playable card. Very good. Alright, it's down to the last one though. Okay. Tyranitar Hollow. Zapdos Hollow. Alright, what is this? Last card, last chance. <laughs> Alright, we got another Mew V Star. So. Yeah, nothing too crazy came out. The, the Arceus is very nice. I'm very happy to get a card that I don't have. We'll welcome him to the team, but the rest was. It was okay. It was not terrible. We did get some good trainer cards that we got. What? Evolution Incense, a couple of double turbos, Bibaru. We got the boss. Got a couple of new V stars. Yeah, we got some definitely some serviceable cards, so pretty good overall, but was it worth the fifty ish dollars we paid? Eh, probably not. I mean maybe I think if you bought all those cards individually, probably would add up to about that. But realistically, probably mm, Maybe about half, which is, you know, we can't complain with that. It's not too bad. Anyway, RCS Full Art is a nice pull, so we'll, we'll take that. Let me know what you think of these mystery packs anyway, guys. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.